What's up guys? Welcome back to Go Ham Disc Golf. I'm Big John. Um, this is the second video for today and the second review of the day. And this is for the uh, the Innova Blizzard Champion Dominator. Now this guy, as I explained, is a 168 Blizzard Champion disc. And what that means is that there's really no point to it being Blizzard Champion. There are absolutely no bubbles in this disc which is what Blizzard discs are meant for. Um, it's pretty much, and I've said it a couple times now, it's pretty much a, a champion dominator with a Blizzard champion stamp. This thing is silly as hell. Um, now as far as the way it flies, watch the video that, that I'm putting out right before this one and watch the review for the regular champion dominator that I did. Um, I explained about how it flew, all that good stuff. And then this disc flies exactly the same way, it just it flies the way you would expect a slightly lighter version of the Dominator to fly. It, uh, it's got more turn to it. The regular Champion Dominator doesn't have barely any turn. It, it won't cut hard to the right at all. You probably won't be able to turn over a regular uh, Champion Dominator. And it doesn't have much fade either. The lighter one, this you know, wannabe Blizzard Champion one has a lot more turn to it. Um, if you're not careful, you can turn it over. If you're putting a lot of speed on it, you put a lot of wrist snap and torque, you'll turn it over real easy. So there's not much really for me to say about this disc because it's not what I expected it to be. It's not what anybody else would expect a Blizzard Champion disc to be. Now, the, you know, everything else it, the grip is really nice. It's got that odd rim to it that I was talking about on the previous video. And um, it's a good disc, but it's not something I'm going to keep in my bag. Just because, just like the other Dominator, I have another disc that does the exact same thing, but does it a little bit better. But that's not me saying that this is a bad disc. I think it, it's a great disc. Um, I think it, it would be better if it was like a 158 or... If I could hold it and not drop it, it'd probably do better too. But if it was a, a 158 or so and actually had some bubbles in the flight plate or the rim itself, it would fly a little bit differently. You could probably end up, you know, pulling back on your power if you're, you know, one of those guys that has a bigger arm and still get a great flight out of it. And then it would also be good if it was lighter for the beginners out there who can't get the good speed, it would still do what it's supposed to do. So, no, I won't be keeping it in my bag. I'm going to keep my, uh, my lighter Nuke SS for that one. Now, as far as the giveaway for this, you have until tomorrow night at midnight to enter that giveaway. So, uh, don't forget about that one. That's all I have for this video, guys. So, don't forget to go ham. See you guys next time.